Radio, time to clear out the swamp. This will be a treat. Now nah, it'll kind of just be, you know, poison lake area in Dark Souls. Well, sorry, in Souls. Souls born. Uh, whatever. Who cares? <sighs> I can't be stuffed saying Souls born every single time. I just, just know I include Bloodborne. All right, we have my plus four. Raw Lambert, which will unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, just miss out on a two-hit kill. Hey, you see the hand he's holding his spear in? That counts as, you know, the hitbox. Because reasons. What could that spooky place be? I remember reading, what, maybe in 2018, 2017, something I never realised about how each of these flames have the engraving, have an engraving. And it's one of the Lord Souls from Dark Souls 1. So, Bed of Chaos. And I believe it's Nito and, um, yeah, it's Nito and the Four Kings from memory. Pretty sure it's not, you know, safe. Um,. Obligatory reference to being a bitch. I, I don't know. Apologies if this is also kind of low energy today. Yeah, it, it might be a little too relaxed. But that's about a change in about 10 seconds. Alright, we'll deal with that stuff in a sec. I don't really need the great sword this playthrough, I think, but. Alright, you ready for the best enemy in the game? They're not actually that bad, they're just a pain in the ass, to be honest. Yeah, I have trouble getting the backstab on him. Fuck you. That went really well, actually. I'm happy with that. Right. So we got a poison moss over yonder. So we're not too much probably kill him outright. Saving the dagger for later. And there we go. How did you die, friend? Is that a Cestus or a Dark Hand? Sorry, a Kestus. So yeah, that's uh, that's back where we started. That's an Elder Group. That's going to be lots of fun in about uh, about five minutes. At least they, you know, at least they give quite a decent amount of souls compared to most enemies in this game. Let there be guts. Will the group put their glasses on and indeed realize nothing will be wrong? Oh. Ah, we had poise. How about that? Hey, thank you for the Titanite Shard. I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna need them. I've got quite a few weapons I want to use. Like the mace and the bastard sword. You know, and all that fun stuff. It is kind of odd how... I don't... Yeah, no, that's right. It's six shards in Dark Souls 1 and 2. And then it's double in three. Not really a big problem, but ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna be okay. No, I thought I was gonna be sucking the uh, Estus frames. Evidently not. Lucky. Yeah, it is kind of odd how they doubled the Titanite, the the required Titanite. It's not a huge complaint, but you definitely feel it at well in this part of the game. Unless you go out of your way to farm the Lothric Knights and, you know, the Gru as well, I guess. And the Giant Crabs. Like, enough enemies do drop Titanite Shards, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. 
it felt it felt easier to farm them in one. And even then, like, oh no, I you know, slaughtered the upper undead parish and then walked to Andre and I could afford at least two. Something like that. And the Boulder Knights dropped him a hell of a lot. That's the one I wanted to hit. Alright, you know what? Let's do it now. Ready to join the Lothric Space Program, you fuck. Come on. Come on. That's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. Okay, it's the only issue with they get in this kind of loop. Yeah, so it's not even worth it. Alright, come here. Good enough. How about you, buddy? I fucking love that stomp. I, re I remember on the first time I played a full-on strength build in this game. This is the bad boy I used to beat Soul of Cinder. Not the few monks with great sword, as fun as that was. Just the humble bastard sword. I fucking love that stomp, it's so much fun. Ah, hey, can, hey, can you believe that? We made it to the bonfire. And we didn't get poisoned, bar, you know, that one instance. But yeah, the Gru didn't get us. Time for filth. The vermin. I don't know what I'm going for. Some random bullshit. That said, the swamp is pretty fast if you know what you're doing, but still. And we took care of the titan, or we took care of the initial shards, the stone palmer, hey heavy gem, thank you. The stone palmer, um, the SS flash shard, the coal, all that stuff. Yeah, so I don't even need to go back to the upper swamp anymore. I failed. I died to slugs. I am forever tortured in Omicron. I don't know why I went for Omicron. Again, a game I've never bloody played. Oh, what a masterpiece. Thank you, David Cage. Hack fraud. Alright, Swordgrass. No, I'm not farming 30 of those. I'm not even farming 10. Ah, uh, praise the sun. Praise the sun. Okay, here's the fun part. So, across yonder. Well, that's a shard. Even further yonder, in that little gap that you'll be able to make out in a sec, just avoid these guys, it's not worth it. Yep, oh, no, didn't get poisoned. There is a nameless knight set, just around that bend. You go there, that's enough to trigger Hazel, and I'd rather not deal with that right now. So I'll be uh, coming back for that in a moment. Yeah, we got the pike, I totally forgot. Alright, let's do this. You're being weird today, Gru. You drunk? Evidently. Alright, 115. Ow! Yeah. Why fight? Come on, just walk forward. Perfect. Stone Great Shield, come on. Nope. Bastard. There we go. Man, it occurred to me, when I uh, mentioned the whole... Hey, isn't it weird how the, uh... What, what the hell are they called again? The fucking... Black... Um, slime... Dragon... Uh, you know, the fake dragon things. What are they called again? The ones in High Wall of Lothric. Um... Anyway, I, I, I can't fucking remember their name. They're, they're kind of like the Imperfect from 2, I guess, in retrospect. The funny thing is, they kind of remind me of Ouroboros from, you know, RE5, which is what I said. And the dumb thing I forgot to mention was, hey, that reminds me of that one Red Dwarf episode where Lister becomes his dad. You know, a true classic. Hell, I don't even know which Red Dwarf episodes of, you know, the popular ones. I'm not that hardcore of a fan. Every couple of years I'll just binge the box set again. I should probably grab the new stuff one day. Anyway, that was my unnecessary tension to get to, to Red Dwarf. It's not cold outside today though, it's quite hot. And there is some kind of atmosphere, so there's that. Right, um, that's all the doors in about maybe sub 10 minutes. Yay! This isn't the part that's time consuming. 
it's beating Hazel, going back, pissing off Yuria, and you know, uh, taking care of all that the fun stuff. Alright, there's another one of the Leaping Gru, the, the one you didn't get to see, um, performance bullshit. I'm gonna leave him for now, and Iron Flesh is just round that way, we'll grab that later, when we annoy Yuria and get Pale Shade to try to gank us with its horde of basilisks. Because, you know, that's that's cool and normal. A lot of fun there. I don't really mind Farron Keep as much as I did the first time. It's grown on me. But then again, that could just, like, you know, that could be, um... Stockholm... Stockholm Syndrome. Which, I... What was it? I, I think I heard someone say that might not even be a real thing. It's actually kind of fabricated. Oh, well. Yeah, maybe it's just I've had to get used to it, so I pretend I like it, but it's not actually that bad. Once you know you can use the daggers most of the way, it's not really a problem, but I didn't even have to. Ah, yep, yep, there's the, uh, there's the missing textures. Yep, good work, FromSoft. Yep, over there too. Huh, weird. Alright, well, we're up here. No invasions yet. I know this, this spot isn't as popular, but... Eh... You kind of figure, kind of figure someone might rock up, but I guess not. Here we go, poison's almost done. Over here. Right, ask to join Covenant. Not that I will ever, you know, be a watchdog. Yeah, not that I'm ever going to do watchdog stuff in this playthrough. Not really feeling it, to be completely honest. Alright, now I could head back, but fuck that. We got someone to go bully on the bridge. Kind of dumbfounds me how in this game they really didn't just seal off the pits underneath. I think, yeah, Deers 1 was pretty alright about that. Demon Souls 2, I think. I think 2 had the whole random bottomless pits as well. I guess it's more economical for him to not have filled it in, but I don't know why FromSoft wouldn't just put a floor in. I'm talking in, like, in the Dark Souls canon, it would have cost the Undead Legion, you know, taxpayers' money to fix that up. But hey. So if you're on base health and you're not Embered, this guy's grab will pretty much insta-kill you. Well, sorry, it'll basically kill you no matter what. That said, we're rather beefy and we're at level 29, I believe it was. We broke the legs. I honestly find this form more dangerous. Because you get some bullshit hits in sometimes. By flailing around like a jackass. It is weird how that sound effect's louder. Than, uh, than most. Ah, yes. Scenic views. I wonder if, like... Because I mentioned, I mentioned, um, last time. Oh. Yeah, oh, there we go. Beautiful. I'm not meant to see that. I mentioned there was an area called God's Grave that got cut. I believe it was going to be underneath as part of the bridge. I don't know how the swamp would have tied it. Also, yeah, uh, lost Bastille. Lost Bastille with the water over there. <laughs> you can clearly see the edge of the, uh, edge of the skybox. Oh well. Who cares? Doesn't really impact the game or anything. Yeah, um... There was meant to be an area called God's Grave. Which I guess was going to have a lot of the weird imperfect dragon type crap in it. I'll be polite. All the imperfect kind of stuff. And back in the base game, um, Gundir was Yorm. Well, as in, sorry, Yorm was Gundir. And you fought him and you ended up going to the profane capital, which was after the catacombs. Um, with Irifil Dungeon in between, of course. And I think Yorshka was meant to be in there or something. From memory. Um, but yeah, Yorm would be there, and he would be, who we now know as... Why am I blanking on the name? Wolnir. Wolnir. What the fuck? That was weird. Ah, I forget about the little dust clouds. Cute. You tried, man. You tried. Good little lizard. Ugh. Good little lizard. Alright. I guess that's meant to be... That's a halfway fortress there. Yeah, that's near Orbex. That's Orbex crib. Should be able to see it, but alas, that's cathedral. 
And yeah, there's meant to be the arena of crystal sage around the back, but it's kind of hard to make out. Yeah, so God's Grave was meant to be down below. Osiris was down there as the Dragon Angel. I'm paraphrasing this off uh, one of the Snap Covenant um, videos that uh, Sin and Richie did. Was that now was last year or 2019? I can't remember. Would have been 19, I think. Yeah, definitely would have been, actually. Because that was before I started, I, you know, even contemplated doing a Bloodborne playthrough. And yeah, even then, Osiris was going to be a Bloodborne boss that got cut. So, yeah, the more you know. Standard bolts, thank you very much. Like I joked before um, in a previous ep, Osiris' bullshit two-frame startup charge would have been a lot more at home in Bloodborne. Still kind of crap, but, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't have been as, eh, as obnoxious. Take the plunge, you won't die. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's have a look. So that should be where the crab hangs out from memory, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. So that's far, that's the uh, that's the keep with the Z fighting at the front door. Um, that's where the Dick Wraith show up. That's our bonfire. Crystal Lizard Chance just there, and it loops up back to there. Cool. I do... Oh, that doesn't look very nice. Obviously, it's great how you can see most of the you know, geometry and all that, but... I don't know, it still doesn't quite hit the spot as Dark Souls 1, which, ironically, is the exception to the rule, as we've learned. Actually, yeah, well, no, if you factor in Sekiro, like, it and Sekiro are kind of the odd ones out. I guess? Ah, uh, no, maybe not, I don't know. You still have to teleport in Sekiro, you can't get around it, really. Right, let's have a look. Umbral Ash. Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust stuff of a fool won't yield aught. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Oh yes, I see. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world. More is the pity. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? <laughs> Little harsh, don't you think? Alright, life ring, hooray. We've also got the lever armor. What else does it grant us? I forget. Ah yes, composite bow. We're grabbing that, 100%. For them sweet, sweet roll shots. And yeah, that's right, the... Three lots of gold pine resin. And the bundles, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That sounds about right. Cool. Ashen one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More souls. I get it. Alright, well. Time to commit some sacrilege and piss someone off. There you go, Whip Chan. Alright, let's do the math again. 179. Yeah, Roar is better right now. Yeah, there's no way Sharp's going to overtake it, but... Sharp is better. Sharp's already better, but... Yeah, we'll work that out in a sec. I don't believe we've got anything else to give out. We've got the Bone Shard to burn. We don't have any scrolls for Orbeck. That's about to change. Don't need to grab a seed. Hmm. We'll level up Dex and see what happens. Because I'd love to use the uh, Black Bow of Tharis if I could. Oh, damn. Oh, well. Alright, let's see. Let's see by how much. Because there's at least one more guaranteed sharp gem in the game. That is kind of annoying though, like how they make it kind of hard to get uh get the different gems. They've all got really low drop rates, which sucks. Wow, sharp gem's almost better. As you can see, the heavy gem is officially better two-handed. Um, we'll have a look actually. Maybe it's better one-handed. For now, raw whip. Let's just do the math real quick. 258, of course. Has to be because it's raw. Alright. Damn it. I keep forgetting Flamberge is right there. Yeah, no. We need a little more strength. If that's going to be the case. And if anything, we'll go to... We'll go to, um, 16. So we can use the Bastard Sword for a little bit. Gaming admission. Yeah, you got nothing new to say. Alright. Raw whip. Raw, raw Flamberge. Looking good. And now... 
life ring. Haha! We're at the proper 70%, not the bullshit 70.001%. Ah, so there is some activity. Neat. Hmm, maybe we'll uh, get an invasion or a co uh, you know, some co op. That'd be cool. I would rather fight the Abyss Watchers one on one, but, you know. Eh, I was a little rough to flower the other night. The uh, summon I refused to to grab before Crystal Sage. Just because of that outstanding performance by our assassin friend against Vort. Ah, uh, I'm being mean. It's all their fault they got two shot. Vort's weird, like, most of the time he's really easy and there's no, there's no threat at all. Well, sometimes he just slams the crap out of you and you die. I don't know, something weird about him. Oh, also, speaking of weird, where is it? Huh, that's weird. There's a spot around here where you get poisoned for no- Oh, yeah, here it is. Someone fucked up. Time for fleeing. Yeah, but if we go up the top, that's not really going to be an issue. Oh, we didn't burn the shard. Ah, oh, fuck it, doesn't matter. We've missed. No, we hit. Take that, you dumb bird. Birdman. Alright, let's see. Almost. If I went heavy, we'd be slaughtering, but alas. How about you, friend? Man, with all the luck I've had with items, well, you know, getting the Wing Knight Halberd, the Lothric, uh, Lothric Longspeed, and the Great Shield, and the Flamberge, all in the first recording session, Maybe this guy should be a luck character. Maybe. That's a big fucking scythe. Sorry, Badish. Sorry, um... Glaive. Yeah, that's right. But wary of duo, therefore try stealth. I see. Your true power. The true power of a Legionis. Watch out, here comes a fucking Raven Corp. Oh no, accidental spoilers, I guess, for Astral Chain. Whoops. Eh. You're a half old, who cares? If you watch my bloody videos, you, you've been spoiled enough as is. Alright, yeah, there is a bonfire down there, but we're gonna go bully our two dick wraiths up here. And we'll grab our dear friend, Gotthard. Yeah, alright, we can 1v1 this fuck. I do like the black hand armor, it's just a shame it takes forever to get. Crack. The cracked red eye ore. Nice. Well played, compadre. And here will be Cirrus in a second. Yeah, when we come back. Because we hand, we've just handed in the ashes, which will cause Cirrus to rock up. Time for good luck, or you know, roll back stabs. R one, R one, gotcha. Okay, said, so, but well, we can get a plus two dagger this way. Okay, let's have some fun with the whip. Yo, come on, get good. That did way more than I anticipated. Huh. Rad. I'm not complaining though. That's cool. Oh. Radio. To the bonfire. Time to bully a lizard. Um. Bully Hazel. Piss off Uria. Get Pale Shade. Go get two different scrolls. Beat up a crab. Beat up some Elder Gru. Etc. Etc. I didn't summon Gotthard, damn it. Now, ah, excuse me, I'm gonna go back for that fucking gesture. Pale Shade will do the whole dual bow in a sec. Hey, if anything, maybe this will encourage someone to actually invade us. I'm trying to keep this nice and concise, this part, but. Well, I'm gonna break it up in like two parts, probably. The swamp and then the Abyss Watchers. Get out of here, Pale Shade. I was thinking about this earlier, the, um, the tragedy of the decision you have to make, of, um, 
do you join the ring fingers and get the proper bow gesture? Or do you continue Cirrus's quest line and get the silver cat ring, the dragon slayer's axe, Creighton set, a second mail breaker that's not very useful given its infusion. Um, you know, so on and so forth. I get obviously you're meant to do it a second playthrough, but it feels like such a missed opportunity DS2 didn't, uh, sorry, DS3 didn't have DS2's whole system of, oh, you, you want to re, re, you know, re-enable invasions in this area? Go for it. That would have been the best. Would have been sick. Because I know there's like a way to glitch past Crystal Sage, which I'm contemplating trying one day, because I never really need it. Oh, wait. Can we see for it? No, we can't see for a chest. I was wrong. I never really need any of the stuff we can make for Crystal Sage. But, like... Oh, man, it'd be great if you could keep the swamp open. Because I love... Oh, oh, oh. Boy, I was hoping we'd get one of those, but not, you know, not like that. Holy crap. Ah, shortcut. Great magic weapon. I'm sure that's just because of the door. Yeah. I'm not going to fight him again. He bullied me. It's only fair if I can curb stomp him. Alright, so 20, 10, 17, 15, 15, 10, 10, 7. We are quite the balanced build, I suppose. Aha, we went fast enough. Okay, no, it, it loaded in. I was hoping that would happen. Happens quite a bit on my uh, PC. You know, it's not a complete beast, but it's pretty decent, so it's kind of odd. It's been happening on the PS4 ever since I enabled super sampling, so... Now that this monitor... Yeah. Oh yeah, I never explained that. Not that it matters. With how my uh, TV was trolling me during the uh, Transformers playthrough, it seems Nemesis cursed my uh, my old TV of 10 years. Many late night games of Left 4 Dead were played on that thing. Before and after uni. Before, during and after uni. Many good times. Yep. What now, Hazel? Well, that felt kind of mean and unfair. I'm not fighting that crew, there's no fucking point. That's it. There's this one soul everyone seems to forget. Hell, I didn't bloody know about it till last year. But, yeah. I mean, it's just a soul. Who cares? It's nothing you're really missing on a playthrough. I assume that message about the, is about the invasion. We'll go down there later on when we uh, troll Palshade. Who is a bit of a dick. So I just get her to come up the ladder and just kick her off. It works way better. But yeah, um, Nemesis cursed my TV. He didn't like being killed on Nightmare. He took it very personally that I was even trying. So that was around the time where my TV tried to die. You know, playing Resident Evil 3 as a playthrough for the third fucking time. And Nem got really salty, so he broke my TV. Yeah, thankfully it never went black during the fight, which is great, because that would have been fucking awful. But it went black a few times during Transformers. Think it? Yeah, I think I was sideswipe every time it happened, just about. Huh, how about coincidence, eh? So I've got a nice new monitor here, some speakers. It's all good. I'll admit I'm privileged in this regard, being able to, you know, splurge like that, you know, still in a pandemic. I'll be honest. I'm very fortunate. But here we go. We got you. I was basically paid for today by my, my work, so whatever. Hey. Are you, oh, you're approaching me, huh? Oh, that was going to be a weapon up. Uh -oh. Panic roll, and I'm caught on the tree. Fantastic. No, you don't. Yeah, that's what I meant to do earlier. 